Hello everyone, welcome back to Flat Water, Flat Earth. Today we have something so interesting. I have all these other movies that I've been working on for you guys, but they're much longer. They're full-length videos, and they're going to take some time to edit and put together for you. However, what I've got for you today you should find very interesting. As I've mentioned before, I get these letters fairly regularly. I can't thank this person enough for sending me this information. And again, I have to say thank you to all the people who have ever sent me information. You guys are the best audience. You're absolutely amazing. I'm astounded by how much you guys know. So please continue to share. This is how these things get done, is when we share. So this is former NASA official confession. I'll show you my Gmail inbox here. And you can see where this came from. Now he says he's used some aliases here to cover his tracks so it makes it a little more difficult for them to directly punish him. This is a former NASA official's confession. To whom it may concern. My name is Dr. Keith Smith. I am a former chief engineer with NASA. I write this message to you at great risk to my personal safety as well as that of my family. However, after viewing your channel and videos, I believe that you may be able to help me. I'm trying to get my story out to as many truth seekers like yourself as possible. There are terrible things going on right now that the people need to know about. You are a brave person for being willing to speak out against the evil powers that be. Below is the story of how I became a part of the conspiracy to blind the masses to the true nature of reality. I joined NASA in 1996 after earning my doctorate's degree from the University of Michigan. I genuinely believed that the work that I was doing on the shuttle program was putting men in space. As a low-level engineer, I was still indoctrinated with the lie of the Earth's shape. In 2012, I was promoted to chief engineer. In this position, I was tasked with overseeing the engineers and designers of various projects and future missions in the space program. At least, this is what I thought I would be doing. It was only later that I found out that I received this promotion because my superiors felt that I could be trusted with the secret. On June 7, 2012, I was approached directly by the acting administrator of NASA, Charles Bolden. When he offered me the promotion, I readily accepted. It was at this point that I had to be let in on the secret. On June 10, I went to Washington, D.C. to meet with Administrator Bolden. The pretense of the meeting was as a way of meeting the other heads of NASA and as an introduction to my new position. When I went into the meeting room at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C., they sat me down and went through introductions. The meeting consisted of myself, Administrator Bolden, Deputy Administrator Lori Garver, Associate Administrator Robert Lightfoot, Director Michael Coates of Johnson Space Center, Director Robert Cabana of Kennedy Space Center, Director Arthur Goldman of Marshall Space Center, and Chief Scientist Walid Abdelladi. After the niceties had concluded, Bolden became very serious. He told me that what I was about to hear was going to change my entire life and that I may struggle to believe it at first. His only request was that I hear him out. From here, he revealed the secret to me. I will never forget the moment Administrator Bolden looked me in the eyes and said, Everything that you have ever been taught is a lie. From here, he told me that the earth was in fact flat. This is something that had been known for thousands of years by the ancient peoples. However, as the general population became more educated and their social status increased, they became restless and a danger to themselves. It became necessary for a great lie in order to prevent a collapse of society and another dark age. You see, historians will tell you that humans have known that the earth is round for thousands of years. They will point to the likes of Eratosthenes, or Eratosthenes, saying that he knew the Earth was a globe in the 3rd century BC. They will even say that he calculated the circumference of the globe to within 1% accuracy by having Bematis measure the distance between Alexandria and Syene, by walking the distance and counting steps. However, these historical records have been fabricated and left for the historians and archaeologists to discover. It was only 200 years ago that the true nature of the Earth was general knowledge. However, all records of this knowledge have been destroyed. I was also told that NASA's true purpose was not space exploration, but maintaining the globe conspiracy and maintaining the integrity of civilization. When Administrator Bolden had finished, I was left in utter shock at what I had heard. Surely this could not be true. It must be some form of trick or joke. In fact, when Bolden finished, I just laughed at him. However, Bolden maintained his composure. He told me that he too reacted the same way when he heard the truth. Others in the room went about recounting their stories of first hearing the truth. In fact, Director Goldman said that it took him months to be fully convinced. I was told to go back to my hotel and think it over. 
At first I was in denial of the truth. It took weeks before I fully accepted what I should have always known. The other senior NASA officials were very supportive of me throughout the process, being patient with my many questions. As chief engineer, my main job was coming up with plausible designs to then pass down to lower level engineers. They would then properly design and even build the spacecraft. They never knew that what they were designing would never go to space. It was my job to ensure that. Whenever we launched a rocket, it would just fly out of range of the TV cameras and civilian tracking capabilities before ditching into the ocean. Many rockets can even still be found at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. I went along with spreading the lie for seven years until I retired at the end of 2019. Even after I retired, I was still fully on board with spreading the lie of the globe. I was indoctrinated to a fanatical degree that lying about the Earth's true form was the only way to preserve society. However, with the COVID pandemic, I had a religious awakening and found God for the first time in my life. Through this, I realized the error of my ways. The people have a right to know the truth. It may cause a social upheaval, but I think that it is worth it to break the authority of the conspiracy. As a part of the conspiracy, my every move is closely watched. They have been growing suspicious of me. I am using false aliases as a way of defending my identity and delaying them from silencing me. I strongly believe that it is important that the truth is spread to as many people as possible. They will do everything they can to suppress your message. It is no accident that YouTube and similar platforms are cracking down on conspiracy videos. I hope you find this information helpful. Please feel free to reach out with any questions that you may have. I will try my best to be responsive for as long as possible. Thank you, Dr. Keith Smith. I think some of his points here are interesting, particularly with regards to Eratosthenes and the circumference and the Bematists and this point where he says that, however, all records of this knowledge have been destroyed. Um, that's It's true. When we go back, we actually have noticed even since Flat Earth began that, or since this awakening and this movement has begun, that as we say things, and point them out to people, they'll literally go and change it just after we point it out. Or they'll add information to it to try to change what people think about it. And they also remove a lot of documents that we point out. Uh, having said that, there are certain documents that are maintained that they have to keep there because other people have already noticed them that have information that proves that the Earth is flat. So I'll show you a few of them right here. I intended to put these in other movies. But this is a great place for them. As you can see here, this is people who charted the entire path across the ocean from West Africa to East Brazil. And you can see that they, they charted the entire bottom and everything along, and you can see that it's flat. Thank you.